This month, the Comfort Station is offering a glimpse into Logan Square's past with the exhibit Picturing Logan Square, an exhibition of rare images. The initial idea and interest I had for digging up these photos was simply to compile them all in a searchable archive that people could see their neighborhood uh, through different eyes. I think that old photos like this give us the opportunity to see connections, old connections, things that we might not have realized existed and things that were distant cousins of one another. While this is a look into Logan Square's past, Schneider points out that many places in these photos will look very familiar to many neighbors. When you look at the aerial from 1929 and you sort of imagine in your, in your mind's eye what that space, your block, your, you know, the place you walk to the train or, the, or a business, what it looked like in 1929 is substantially like what it looks like today. So we have something like 80, 90 percent of the buildings that were here at that time are still here. And that's such a very rare thing in a city that has witnessed such demolition. Though he's familiar with Logan Square's history, Schneider said he was surprised how much the dynamics of the neighborhood changed when the subway station was constructed in the late 60s. In, 19, in the 1960s, there was a real desire, an understandable desire, to extend the railroad further out because people wanted to use the train in Jefferson Park, but they had to come to Logan Square to get on it. So the process of, of moving the, the L station, it's such a fixed thing today. We look at the, the train stations and it's a familiar thing. You know, it's a path a lot of people walk every day. One of the aerials that I discovered showed that something like 27 buildings were demolished. And a couple of them were really large, including a magnificent theater and a, and a billiards and bowling uh, establishment. And then a, a, a tremendous shift of gravity from what had been the center, right? The train station was right south of the, just south of the Logan Square Auditorium. And so that, there were businesses going down Kedzie a little ways, businesses on Logan Square, and that's where everyone came and went, right from that spot. And that entire center of gravity shifted from the south side of the square to the north side when, uh, when, the, when the station was, was moved. So to walk where the station was and sort of get a sense of, oh, you know, this is what, this is where there was a business here. There was, you know, now it's not, there's nothing there. There's no foot traffic even, or there's little foot traffic. So it's another kind of interesting part of this, this change that the neighborhood has, has witnessed. There was one photo that Schneider showed us that put the whole idea of change in perspective for Logan Square. It's a very nice building and all that. It's in Wrightwood, uh, sort of the, the northwest corner of Wrightwood and Logan Square. But what's really interesting is this uh, little path behind the building here, which is Milwaukee Avenue but as a country road. For Logan Square TV, this is Dan O'Donnell.